equity solutions welcome you all for the very first interaction between the company who will, which is going pretty dynamic on the on the medical transcription coding and scribing business and here's an opportunity where we can have an interaction with the companies uh, the leadership is here may I have the pleasure to introduce you to the chief executive officer mr kashyap joshi and also we have the executive director mr agnilo rodrix with us so without further ado i would love to call mr agnilo rodrix to first of all welcome mr kashyap joshi to india and may i just request you know very first uh, welcome you all to this first uh, ever press meet uh, being organized by by us uh, by equity and uh, thank you all for being here you know the entire uh, uh, media fraternity whoever has come here i i would like to thank you all uh, on behalf of the company let me introduce you all to uh, kashyap kashyap is uh, person who was He is one of us, Indian, uh, who, uh, who, who began his career with this company somewhere in 2004, and uh, you know was part of the finance and the accounting team. Okay, and um, has has risen, you know, uh, through these years, you know, uh, from uh, an accounts manager to senior manager in accounting, then the CFO, and now today he is the CEO of this company. Okay, I have had the pleasure of working with him uh, since 2007, and uh, we both have been with this company for quite a long time now. So, before uh, you know, I call him to you know present Equity, uh, and you know what Equity is all about. I would like to you know just give you a brief, uh, uh, a little bit to know about us, and uh, we basically started you know. Uh, in 1999 in india whereas you know our global operations are uh, since 1984 so we have spent more than 45 years in this industry uh, we began operations in india since 1999 uh, we we operated under the name called cbe systems earlier and then you know we were rebranded to a model in 2012 and now uh, equity uh, equity was formed uh, you know on account of a a transaction that happened uh, somewhere in uh, you know the beginning of 2019 where the technology business and you know the the ib was sold off to 3m and the services division of the m model uh, you know uh, company was spun off into a different company and that is equity as we are called today we have uh, the main core line of this uh, you know entire uh, uh, business was medical transcription which was started uh, you know uh, way back in 1999 year in india and over a period of time we you know we 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 done a lot in that particular uh, you know uh, vertical right from where you know somebody had to listen to what was being uh, you know uh, said and type today almost 90% is through speech recognition engines and it's just about 10% of work that you know literally has to be typed in we we'll get more information about uh, about these services from kashyap but you know from transcription we have now moved into different verticals in the same healthcare uh, you know segment and which is coding and scribing and these these are the uh, you know areas where we are going to focus more for our growth and expansion here in india so kashyap will take you through uh, you know uh, we'll give you a presentation about uh, about all our uh, you know business uh, verticals and the road map for 2020 you know going forward so uh, i call uh, kashyap thank you thank you everybody for coming we highly appreciate it and uh, i know you guys have more interesting things to cover about maharashtra cm right so uh, <laughs> spending time, spending time to come here and understand about the healthcare domain and um, we really appreciate it right so i wanted to walk you guys through uh, through a small uh, a video right now where where we launched acuity as a as a brand you know and which will give you a 
a, a very small overview of, of you know what we are doing, how our customers feel about it, an interview of a, a brief introduction into into our operations. And in India, 99. So we have been in India for more, more than 20 years and have created this employment in India which wouldn't have been here. Because all the domains that we operate, the healthcare in India is done much differently than it is done in the US. So we provide 100% to the US market. So all these thousands of jobs over the years that we have created is because of, of we thinking about India and trying to do things differently, right? And providing that benefit of jobs, this many jobs in India. And why are we talking right now is we are at the cusp of creating more thousands more jobs in India, provided we can train those talents. And we are continuously investing into it. But we need, we need the Indian public to understand that this level of jobs are there. Because these are, everybody in the media talks about call center jobs, right, on BPO jobs. But nobody talks about these healthcare jobs, which are equally paid very well, plus is very dignified, right? When you are, when you are helping a doctor, to help them to serve a patient, it's a very dignified job. You are not attending a multiple calls or dealing with multiple people. You are directly dealing with doctor themselves, who is the highest denominator in the healthcare provider chain, right? Because you are treating, you are, you are basically managing a person who is treating the patient. So you are, it's a very respectful job, and that's what we are. We have created thousands of these jobs. Our employees are our biggest. Um, uh, our biggest talent that we have in India and today you know we are planning to expand aggressively in India and, and add more jobs into our segments that are growing basically coding and scribing so I will introduce you guys to each of the segments so you guys understand what exactly we are doing right because talking to the people here I realize that there is very limited understanding about what actually healthcare documentation is so let me walk you through that guys but I'll be very happy to answer the que any questions that will come into your mind because this is relatively very different than how the healthcare is done in, in India. And the multi, uh, the giant 3M uh, for a 1 billion dollar and as a part of that restructuring service business was rebranded as Acuity Solutions and uh, and uh, you know we are a company which is owned by uh, three large funds Brigade Capital, Aries Capital and Barings. So we are supported by a very large investor and they are multi-billion dollar funds. So we are, you know, Acuity is a very large company with a very good capital support. So we continue to invest in our workforce and in our facilities and, and provide excellent employment to all our people. So just, just an overview uh, about it. And uh, we, are partnered with, uh, we are partnered with 3M and uh, we use a lot of technologies that were ours but we sold it to 3M. Um, uh, in February, but we continue to utilize that services. So we, 3M treats us as their partner, and we keep on providing services on, on using their platform. Next slide, please. And and we have a very highly experienced uh, team. As I've never introduced myself, that I've been with the company for 15 years, and I'm very proud to start my career back here in India, 15 years back, and over the years, I've risen to the to the different positions. The last one being CFO of the of the entire entity when we did the transaction and then our investor after after making billion dollars made me CEO of the company. So I am very very happy and, and very proud to be associated with such a people where I have been a part to create so much of thousands of employment here in India and would continue to do that. So just an overview of our management which is an experience management and have been in the healthcare for most of their career. So uh, Agnello as he said he has been with the company since 2007. And all my US counterparts have been in the healthcare segment at least for 10 years plus. So it's an experience management that runs Acuity. So we are we are very highly expert in what we do in, with respect to healthcare. Our business is US or our customers are US centric. We, we provide delivery using India. So we are in five countries and 11 operation centers uh, in India. So we are in length and breadth of India, Mumbai, as you can see, Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur, Vizag, Hyderabad, Bangalore, uh, Mysore, and Coimbatore. And in US, predominantly, we have two offices, Nashville and Raleigh. And then we have development center uh, in Pittsburgh and Atlanta. In overall, 6,400 people. And what we do is basically uh, trans uh, technology-enabled service line. So we are like, like 
to give you an analogy is we have Intel inside. As you see, Intel is in any computer, right? So whether you buy a Dell or you buy a Lenovo or you buy any other computer, Intel is always inside. So when people buy technology, we are the we are the people who are behind this technology. We are the service providers. So any technology, if somebody buys, we are the people who are enabling that technology to deliver. Technology on its own cannot deliver the end result. What we do is it may, enables technology to deliver the final outcome to the healthcare. So we are we are uh, technology enabled service line in predominantly in these three lines. Transcription, which is our bread and butter business, where we have been in this forever. Uh, what you're describing, which is growing in leaps and bounds. And this is the area where we want to grow in India in thousands of numbers, where we can create these jobs. These are direct one-on-one -on -one relationships with doctors, a highly paid, relatively a highly paid job and a very, very stable jobs. And then and then coding, which is basically where transcription and coding takes place. And I will walk you guys through a little bit what exactly these things are, right? Today, you know, when, when I just tell you transcription, what you're describing and coding is just a word, right? What actually we do is very important to um, uh, understand. Can you go to the next slide? In US, Canada, Australia, and India. What do we do? What is medical transcription? Now let me, and why it is required, let me walk you guys through. In US, it's a, it's a requirement under, under the HIPAA Act, and it's a statutory requirement, for any conversation between a doctor and a patient has to be documented. It is compulsory, it's not an option. And that has to be documented in such a way that that information is private and it is portable. So it can be easily transferred to somewhere else. And for, for that information to be transferable, it has to be digital. You cannot transfer a handwritten notes, right? It has to be in the digital format if you want to uh, transfer it. So it has to be digitized, every conversation. And that can be as simple as me going to a doctor and complaining, hey, I have a fever. Doctor tells me now, oh, you have a fever, take Tylenol, right? No, or take crossing. In this case, even that instant has to be documented. And then you will tell me, why will, doc why will doctor do that? Now in, in US, the recipient of the healthcare service is different than the payer. Payer is generally insurance companies mm. because everybody is, or majority of the population is insured. So even for doctor visits, you have to get uh, insurance paid. So unless doctor documents that, he will not get paid because document is the proof of doctor providing that service to the patient. And after that document, once it is transcribed, it goes to the coder for getting coded. And unless it is coded, it won't get paid. So that's why it is very important and essential service. If any doctor or any healthcare service provider, if they want to get paid, they have to document it. It's compulsory. Plus, it is a statutory requirement to, to document every conversation. So these are two necessities that healthcare service provider has to do in US. And, and that's why our services are very important and will keep on continuing to grow. That is our transcription services. What doctor does is after seeing a patient, he dictates on a device using a handheld device on his computer. He dictates verbally. And what we do is we collect that voice data, we convert it into a textual report. That's what we do. That is traditional our bread and butter medical transcription business where every day in a, a, or a US working day, we record 9,000 hours of dictation and we convert that into data using our transcriptionist that you saw over the, uh, on the prior slide. The majority of our work is done out of India in those 11 centers that we that we mentioned across uh, the thing, and um, and it's it's a tremendous amount of data that we process every day, and that's what we do. It is pure medical transcription, and as I said, it is required. First of all, it is statutory to to document it, and second is if you don't document it, you never will get paid on this. So that's why it is it is very important and a very very uh, very very necessity for doctors to do that. Virtual scribing. Now, what is virtual scribing? In US, and you guys would have heard about, there was a huge advent during the Obama time about EMR, electronic medical records and electronic health records, where entire software was, uh, technology was used to, to do all documentation or healthcare uh, capturing all the information. And during that time, what happens is there was tremendous, unknowingly, there was tremendous pressure put on the doctors to do a lot of administrative work. So when you go and visit a doctor, uh, and you can you could you can search this uh, in YouTube or any other video, you will see the doctor is not looking at the patient in the eyes. He is in front of computer. He is typing the data, and that is not liked by patient nor by doctors. 
doctors are telling that we went to medical school not to become this data junkie. We went to medical school so we can look into a patient in the eyes and cure what their problems are. Right today, with the with the advent of these EMRs, we have been make, made a data junkie, and I don't want to be a data junkie. Right, so doctors hate this, patient hate this, hate this because I as a patient, when I go to the doctor. I want my doctor to listen to me. I want doctor to look into my eyes, and then I doc I want doctor to cure that. But I'm not even sure that doctor is listening to me because he's in front of computer. Mm -hmm. I don't even know he's listening to me, so I don't get that satisfaction of relief when I go to the doctor. That's what all of us do, right? When we go to the doctor, we get that relief, but we don't get that when the doctor is sitting in front of a computer. So doctors are having this tremendous pressure of documentation, which is which which creates a burnout. Uh, or a, it creates a lot of physician burnout. So what physicians are telling uh, in US is we don't want to continue to do this. We cannot continue to do this. We are in a tremendous stress. We don't want. They don't. They don't want their kids to go become a doctor. They don't want their friends to become a doctor. And that is putting a lot of pressure onto the US healthcare system. So how do you solve this? And that's what virtual scribing is. What is virtual scribing? Virtual scribe is a person who is an administrative assistant to the doctor. And he does all the administrative work that doctor needs to do just by listening to the conversation. So what it does is there is a speaker phone in the in the doctor's examination room where where the scribe sitting here in India is listening to that conversation happening between the doctor and the patient, and he is documenting everything that doctor needs to document in the EMR. He is populating all the things. He is ordering medicines. He is ordering any pathological reports that need to be done. Any follow-up that needs to be done. Plus, he is also also putting the notes. Okay, doctor said this, and he referred this, 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 these things. And then he asked patient to come back after two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. He is doing everything. And as soon as doctor is completed seeing the patient, the chart is ready for doctor to review. Doctor looks at it, glances at it. Yeah, this makes sense, and hits his digital signature so he agrees to that and a chart is done prepared with doctors spending even fraction of a sec second to review that so what that does to doctor is it frees up his time right the time that he would have spent in doing this administrative work it frees up now he can he is free to look at the patient in his eyes right that that gives him a satisfaction plus when his administrative burden is taken away and somebody else does is he can see a couple of more patients, right? So average, by us doing this medical scribing services, we have done time and motion study and we are saving around 90 minutes to 120 minutes. So roughly one and a half hours to two hours of every day's doctor's time. Now then when you give that time back to doctor, what is he going to do? He's going to see more patients, right? So the backlog that, um, that created by, because of administrative burden is now freedom. Doctor is seeing more patients, treating more patient and patient is also satisfied that now doctor is looking in my eyes and he's not looking in the computers. So this is an excellent opportunity. In US there are total 750,000 plus physicians, doctors, plus equal amount of nurse practitioners and, and physician um, uh, treaters. So the demand for this is crazy. Even if we want to hire that many people, we cannot, right? We can't hire that many people in US. There are as, as you guys have heard about US's employment is going to the best time, right? We have the lowest unemployment in US. So where can I get these people? Why not do it in India? If I have to listen to a conversation, why not that person can be in India? And we have been very successful, or we are the only company who is successful to do this out of India. We now have around 200 plus scribes being recruited and, and we just started last year. So we have 200 plus scribes recruited and with, with our training and investment that we have done, we, we can recruit thousands more in this in next year. So our plan is by end of next year to have more than 1500 plus scribes in India to do this work. But the demand of this is tremendous. Every doctor, once they have seen this, they will say, I want scribe. I want my, my free hours, you know, I want my hours to be freed up. So the demand for this is tremendous. And I even if we want, we cannot recruit that many people there in US because there is a physical constraint. The US is a country of only 300 million people and India is 1.2 billion, right? With the unemployment, whatever year it is, there is no special skill required for this kind. You don't have to be a doctor. You just have to be a very good graduate person with a good cognitive skills, where you understand what the conversation between doctor and patient is going and you document it. So you don't have to be on any science background or any um, any medical medicine background, what we need to do is go through a simple training that we have, right? 
and you can easily do this job. These jobs are relatively very highly paid, but not talk, not spoken about, right? In, in, in Indian media, nobody talks about these kind of jobs. They are very important. What they do is they free up doctors to create, to basically solve healthcare problems. So it, this is very important from doctor's perspective. And what we have seen in last one year that we have been doing this, is doctor develops a very good personal relationship with the, with the virtual scribe. So doctor treats scribe very nicely. We had a couple of doctors on their own came here in Hyderabad center where we were providing the service just to make their scribe. They, they feel that they are just extension of their office and they develop that relationship with the scribe. So they are treated very nicely as if, as if this is just a natural extension of their office and, uh, and it's a very respectful job, right? So, so scribing is an area of our focus and it is growing multifold and we would want to grow it more faster. But the challenge is how do you hire that many people and train them, right? And have their cognitive skills. As you guys know, you know, as somebody comes out from a graduate from the college, he has gone through the graduation program but is not ready to be put into the workforce, right? So we have to train them and make sure make sure he understands the communication skills with a doctor because you are directly dealing with doctors, it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. It cannot be sloppy. You know, you have to be because US doctors are their patients level is very different. So you have to be you have to have the best in the class. So we, that's why you know we are focused on training, get these talent trained, and then deploy them into the world. So it's a highly trained industry, and where you guys can help us is spread the word about this kind of a jobs are available. But we want people to go into this, right? We are taking ourselves uh, initiatives in terms of training people. We have tied up with a university in Coimbatore where we are. We have opened a center in the in the college itself, and and um, that institute has designed a course for medical transcription, and we hire the people who come out of the college directly. So we are ourselves doing it, but we will partner with government. I'm thinking about partner with Prime Minister Modi's Skill India initiative, right? Is to develop these kind of skills to people so they are ready for employment. And there is ample opportunities here, and we are ready to invest. We are we have uh, excellent training infrastructure in all those centers. As you can see, we are in all the bigger cities in India. So we have invested. All training workforce is ready for them. We need people in thousands to do this. Everybody of our customers that, that we are talking to wants to use the scribing services. And how it starts is once a, a facility starts with a, with, a, with, a, with a department, say cardiology department, and the cardiology doctor start using it and he will tell to his friend who is an ophthalmologist, I am using scribe. Are you not using it? And then he wants it. Then somebody else wants it. So. We started with Yale University, one of our largest customers. We started with 10 scribes last year, and today we are with 185 scribes, and all are sitting here in Hyderabad. Right? So it's a tremendous opportunity for people, uh, and we are going to invest heavily in terms of infrastructure and training into those guys to that. So that's what virtual scribing is. And then coding, coding is basically where transcription or scribing ends. So whenever a chart is prepared or is documentation is done, then it goes to the coder for getting it coded. Not the coding doesn't mean the uh, the technical coding. What it means is the medical uh, coding. As I said, in US, the recipient of a service or a healthcare service is different than the payer. Service recipient does people like us, patients, right? And the payers are insurance companies because everybody or most of the population is paid. So the bill needs to be submitted to the insurance company for getting it paid and that's why it goes through a coder. Coder is a person who basically reads the document and then codes the key key name of the diseases, ailments that are being treated and then, then he or she will submit it to the insurance company or the billing for, for getting it paid. Without document getting coded, it cannot be paid. So US ICD-10 has 89,000 plus codes. So every disease, every ailment, every drug is has a unique code and you have to code it accordingly, then only you will get paid. And that's what the coders do. So, it, so again, it's a natural extension for us to go in this because we are already having the documentation by doing transcription and by doing the virtual scribe, right? So after, as soon as the document is done, it can go to the next desk, in, you know, uh, to the coders for, for getting it coded. And coding, as I said, is also a necessity, otherwise they won't get paid. So, so what, what has happened in, in the last years in coding and that's why why there is a why this is an area of focus for us. 
in US today, even today, 90% of the coding is in source. So what do I mean by in source? Is, is hospitals hire coders on their payroll and they do, they do their coding. They, nobody uses third or very few people use third party to do this. But as you guys are aware that there is a tremendous pressure in US healthcare to reduce the cost. And the cost reduction cannot be in the healthcare service provider. They cannot reduce doctors or nurses or any healthcare related service providing cost. So what they have to reduce is administrative cost. So how will you reduce administrative cost? Is by outsourcing this. By, by them hiring a local coder, it is very inefficient because they are not measuring their efficiency. They don't give them the tools at all that is required for them to be productive. What we do is we train them continuously. We provide them the tools which make them very productive. Plus, we can do it out of here in India. It doesn't have to be done in US. It, we can do it at a fraction of a cost here. And this is already Indians. We Indians are brilliant with the financial. Coding is more financial related than the documentation related. We already have a very good trained workforce who understands financially things much better than an average person would. So this is a natural transition for us. We are growing at least 30 to 40% every year in the coding business and creating a lot of jobs here in India. Because we are one of the unique uh, players in, in this with uh, with India capacity. There are a lot of players in coding industry, but what they do is they just outsource coders in US. But we do it from India, which is done at a 30% cost of what a US coder would do. If US coder, uh, coder cost is $100, Indian coder is $30. That is the cost advantage. right? So when you go to the hospital and you put numbers like this, they are obviously going to try it. right? And as we are successful in doing it, there is no quality differentiator that we have found between a US coder and an Indian coder, coder, provided they go through the training that we provide them. So, natural extension for us, and we keep on investing into, into these capacities. We have now have 260 coders working for us, all of them very highly, highly successful and trained. And we keep on adding every month 30, 40 coders. So, this is again a, a, a good area for us to grow. And of the 8.9 billion dollar opportunity of the three segments that, that we spoke about, 7.9 billion is US. But other markets are coming. Australia is going very close to where US was, UK is going very close, and Canada. And we are present in all these markets, not to the extent what US. US, it is highly need based, right? They need transcription because one, it is statutory, and second, they need to get paid, right? So it is much required. In these countries, they are, they are, they are doing this because they want to adopt best healthcare practices. It is very good for humankind to document these conversations and the treatment and the ailment because if this is in a digital format, document us, then only research can do, right? You, you just imagine the level of data that we have in terms of treatment for any disease or any ailment. If, if these, these data is analyzed in a proper way, it can solve most of the human problems, right? So most of these countries are going there and this market size is going to grow up continuously. And we, predominantly being a very large player, as I said, Intel inside the service provider, we will work with Amazon, Google, anybody who is providing this service to be their service arm. Who is providing the technology, we want to be their service arm so we can help them to get technology where it is where it is required to solve human problems. And that's why it's a very large market and growing rapidly. As a doctor because else you, you you know you cannot provide that service and you are documenting healthcare where a small mistake can cost so much, right? In terms of human health and and um, and related things. So our uh, our focus is uh, on India and we want to keep on, you know, basically raise this human capital that we have in India. We want to double in numbers from where we are. As you see, as you saw that we have 4,000 plus employees in India. We would want to double that number as soon as we can. But there are challenges in terms of training people, right? And we would want to work with more and more universities or institutions that can help us to get a, even a semi-trained uh, uh, person you know, out of the college, then we can train them to create these kind of jobs. So it's very exciting for us and for me personally, you know, being the CEO of this company and being, you know, being an Indian in my past life would, would definitely uh, be a great sense of pride to me. I need to tell them, right? You are already aware of why India is the, is the resource capital of the world and the biggest talent, uh, talent pool of skilled and English speaking resources, the most cost effectiveness. We are very much uh, you know, present in India as you saw and geographically we should take advantage of that 
and obviously you know government of india the current government has taken initiatives in terms of you know the the skill india movement and we want to participate in that how we can help to create more jobs like this because we want people like this and how can we help government india to uh, or partner with government of india in this initiative so we can create this employment during the challenging time whereas right? so you keep on hearing people you know big companies firing 10000 people firing this many people we want to hire people and and that's what we want to do but we want to uh, train them with the right skills so, so they can even ex extend in their career just to give you of the scribes that we have today in our workforce 47 percent of them have been medical transcription with us so we have been able to convert those transcriptions into the scribes so we have designed and invested into the training program which helps their career to enhance similarly we had converted hundreds of transcriptions into coders so we do cross train people across our line so they can enhance their career and get and make a difference in their own lives right so we continuously are investing into it and, and we are committed to you know provide state of the art facility to our employees I mean, you can visit any of our offices and you will see, you will see our employees rejoicing or enjoying the, the infrastructure that we have and of course we take a pride into that it's already i have we have a highly satisfied customer base we just need to we just need to utilize our talents in, into different areas right that's what that's what we are trying uh, trying to do and, and one more one more source of information here we didn't play that video but the, there is a there is a third party agency known as class k l a s class and you guys can see it's on it's on a domain basically they are like jd powers of uh, healthcare it like how jd powers does customer satisfaction in the consumer industry class does in the healthcare and we are rated number one company in the class for the services that we provide because we provide quality service to our customers and that's why you know they want to they want to do business with us you are aware i'm just repeating most of the thing that you know we want to explore new territories and, and and extend it so we will go into again in the healthcare domain only we will expand our services into different areas our customers which are healthcare hospitals larger hospitals in us want us to help them in different services because they are not able to find the right talent there in us they are not able to find the talent at the right price in us so they want us to help them in various services so we will naturally branch out into different services again in the healthcare domain and and give multiple employment opportunities to, to those employees who are working for us in terms of training them into different skill sets and and giving them a better opportunity in life thank you for listening listening to me so the training, uh, not only in terms of people they train, but in terms of uh, the material that you train, right? So that's a that's a big investment. Uh, so for uh, transcription, it is around four weeks. Uh, coding, whatever, is very special. So you can't, uh, you know, they have to be have certain level of education that is required. Then you can train them in four to eight weeks. But first prerequisite is the is the U.S. coding. Uh, uh, certification which is easily available here in India so they can get it done and scribing is around 12 weeks but you don't have any institute or anybody training you on scribe right so we are the one who are training people into scribe or converting transcription into the scribe it, it's around 12 weeks what what we are training people is the is the two-way communication how do you interact with the doctors and the medical oncology medical terminology those are the things that we train them so it's around a 12 week period that we can you know when somebody comes from a fresher uh, with which are, i would say uh, you know reasonable english speaking skills we can put them into production we in fact we pay them stipend to do that so yeah that's what our investment one of the investment that you're talking about is that we we don't they don't have to pay any fees we are for providing anything. them we are providing them we, we need people mm -hmm. we and need thousands of people age limit and there's no age limit you know center for pan india pan india so uh, i said like there are uh, 11 centers uh, yeah. mumbai bangalore hyderabad Kaimatur. Uh, Vizag, Pune, Nagpur. So, m materially, you know, mm -hmm. most of the cities we have covered in India. And we will expand, you know, it's not that if there, is a, if there is a necessity for us to expand, we will go into other parts in India. But we are predominantly, me being, in, um, um, being lived in India most of my life, would want to expand only in India. I'm not going to Philippines or I'm not going anywhere else. I want to create employment here because we are successfully doing it. There is no reason for me to go into any other choice. Mm -hmm. Class.
brands are uh, US, which is number one. We have we have a large uh, uh, customer base in Canada, uh, UK, Australia, and then a uh, few European countries too. But they are all coming up. You know, they are all starting doing adopting this best healthcare practices. So US is a leader, right? US is a leader, and now every country that I mentioned is following UK, Canada, and Australia are very close. Other countries it will take years to do that. Yes. Useful for doctor also. All our medical disease and medicine. We have so, no. It is useful for doctors. So we have around uh, 25, 30 doctors who are working for us. That's right. It's true, but there is some any kind of medicine as disease. Then medicine is a particular company. Or available in this this Imar person, this particular city. No, what we do is only documenting it, right? Okay. So we are only documenting. We are not treating people. We don't. We can't treat people, right? We need. Not to but treat, but yeah. if we say this is this is, and this is this is, there are some various company, there are medicines available market, which is suitable for that patient and particularly their necessity. Yeah, we 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 don't do that, sir. No, we don't. शिव जोशी है मैं एक्यूटी सॉल्यूशंस अमेरिका की लार्जेस्ट हेल्थकेयर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन कंपनी का सीईओ हूं और आज हमारा जो प्रोग्राम था वो जो लोगों को बताने के लिए कि हम कितने इंडिया में जॉब्स क्रिएट कर रहे हैं जो और जो स्किल सेट्स आर हेल्थकेयर रिलेटेड हैं और जिसकी अमेरिका में बहुत डिमांड है और हम कितना इंडिया में इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं ये लोगों को ट्रेन करने के लिए एंड प्रिडामेंटली ये जो स्क्राइबिंग टेक्नोलॉजी स्क्राइबिंग वर्चुअल स्क्राइबिंग है वो क्या है वो डॉक्टर जब भी भी पेशेंट से बात करता है तभी रूम में एक डिवाइस है जो इंडियन स्क्राइब यहाँ पे बैठे बैठे सुन रहा है एंड वो सारी सारा डिस्कशन एक जो कंप्यूटर ई में फिलअप कर रहा है डॉक्टर के बिहाफ पे एंड वो डॉक्टर का कितना टाइम फ्री अप कर देता है और जिससे डॉक्टर ज़्यादा पेशेंट देख सकता है एक दिन में और डॉक्टर अगर ज़्यादा पेशेंट देख, देखता है तो ऑब्वियसली हॉस्पिटल को भी उसका नफ़ा है सो इंडियन लेबर यूज़ करके ये कितना लाभदायक है फॉर एवरीबॉडी ये डिस्कशन इसके बारे में था और हम यहाँ पे 11 सेंटर इंडिया में हैं हमारे मुंबई हैदराबाद बेंगलोर कानपुर वाइजैक नागपुर पुणे में हमने तकरीबन पाँच हज़ार लोग हमारे लिए काम कर रहे हैं और हम हज़ारों लोग रिक्रूट करने के लिए तैयार हैं अगर हमको स्किल्ड एम्प्लॉय मिले यहाँ पे और ऑब्वियसली ये सर्विस की डिमांड यूएस में बहुत ज़्यादा है सो so, हम यहाँ पे निवेश कर रहे हैं ये एम्प्लॉय ये और ऑफिस खोलने के लिए और ऑल और लोगों को ये स्पेशलिटी में ट्रेन करने के लिए मेरा नाम एग्नल रॉड्रिक्स है और मैं एक्विटी इंडिया का एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर हूँ देखिए जैसे कि यू नो जब भी हम कोई जॉब्स अपॉर्चुनिटी यहाँ पे इंडिया में अगर इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं तो ऑब्वियसली यू नो रिस्पांस अच्छा ही रहेगा जैसे सीईओ कश्यप जोशी ने कहा था कि ये जो नई वर्टिकल्स है स्क्राइबिंग और कोडिंग जो हम जिस पे हम अभी फोकस करने वाले हैं एक्सपेंशन और ग्रोथ के लिए फॉर बिजनेस ईयर इन इंडिया तो इसके इसके द्वारे हम यहाँ पे बहुत सारे जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ क्रिएट करने वाले हैं और ये जॉब जॉब यू नो कोई लेवल ऑफ एज एज बार या ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है और ये इनके ये जॉब्स के लिए हमें कोई स्पेशलाइज्ड uh, ट्रेनिंग uh, के लोग uh, लोगों की भी ज़रूरत नहीं है ये नॉर्मल ग्रेजुएट्स uh, भी कर सकते हैं बस ये है कि हम उन, उन, उनको थोड़ा सा ट्रेनिंग uh, हमें देना पड़ेगा और ये ट्रेनिंग uh, के द्वारा वो फुल्ली क्वालिफाई uh, हो जाते हैं हमारे ये सर्विसेज प्रोवाइड करने के लिए ए, और ये ट्रेनिंग काफ़ी यू नो उनके लिए कोई uh, इन्वेस्टमेंट की ज़रूरत नहीं है ये पूरी ट्रेनिंग हम खुद हमारे एंड से करते हैं और ये उनके लिए फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट रहता है और जब 
या पूरा ट्रेनिंग का प्रोसेस जब चालू रहता है तो उन्हें हम स्टाइफंड यू नो स्टाइफंड भी पे करते हैं तो इट्स अ विन विन सिचुएशन उनके लिए जो ये पर्टिकुलर फील्ड में आना चाहते हैं और अपना करियर बनाना चाहते हैं यहाँ पे अवेलेबल हम फर्स्ट हम ऑलरेडी यहाँ पे हैं हम यहाँ जैसे मैंने बताया पहले हम यहाँ ऑलरेडी 11 सेंटर्स खोल चुके हैं और यहाँ पे जो टैलेंट पूल अवेलेबल है जो इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग टैलेंट पूल अवेलेबल है संख्याओं में वो कहीं भी नहीं है अवेलेबल सो so, हमारे लिए यहाँ पे एक्सपांड करना बहुत ईजी है देन और कोई जगह पर जाना और, और सबसे बड़ी वजह है कॉस्ट यहाँ का यहाँ का वर्चुअल स्काइप का क्रॉस्ट इज़ तीस टका कम है यू एस ए सो ऑब्वियसली ये बहुत सेम क्वालिटी वर्क हम सस्ते में यहाँ कर सकते हैं जो कि यू एस हेल्थ हॉस्पिटल का कॉस्ट और रिड्यूस कर देगा सर जैसे कि आपने कहा कि ग्यारह सेंटर आप लोग इंडिया में इंस्टॉल कर रहे हो तो ग्यारह सेंटर कहाँ कहाँ पर है हाँ हमारे ग्यारह सेंटर इन सिटीज़ में है मुंबई पुणे नागपुर वाइजैक हैदराबाद कोयमतूर और बैंगलोर और हम एक एक सिटीज़ में मल्टीपल सेंटर खोलते हैं सो so दैट हमारे एम्प्लॉय को ज़्यादा कम्यूट का उनका जो ट्रैवल टाइम है वो बहुत रिड्यूस हो जाए इसके लिए जैसे हैदराबाद में हमारे तीन सेंटर हैं और वो तीन सेंटर में हम हज़ार के प्लस लोग ऑलरेडी एम्प्लॉय कर चुके हैं सो so, हमारे हमारे ग्यारह सेंटर यहाँ से हैं हम इंडिया में नाइनटीन से हैं सो वी हैव हम ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन इंडिया गवर्नमेंट और अभी हमको गवर्नमेंट का कोई सपोर्ट नहीं है हालांकि हम गवर हम चाहते हैं कि हम फ्यूचर में स्किल इंडिया मूवमेंट में गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया से पार्टिसिपेट करें और ऐसा कोर्स क्रिएट करें इन पार्टनरशिप विद गवर्नमेंट जैसे हमको जब कोई कॉलेज से ग्रेजुएट होकर निकलता है तो रेडी स्किल सेट अवेलेबल है सो हम उसको लिमिटेड ट्रेनिंग दे प्रोडक्शन वर्क पर डाल सकें जिससे वो डायरेक्ट एक, एक अच्छा वेतन कमा सकें हज़ारों से प्लस लोगों का हमको रिक्वायरमेंट है हम हम फ्यूचर में मल्टीपल जोग्राफीज़ में भी जाएंगे हम दूसरे शहरों में जाएंगे जहां हम नहीं हैं जहां पे हमको ऐसा टैलेंट मिले जहां पे अच्छी कॉलेज और यूनिवर्सिटी से हम अच्छे एम्प्लॉ हायर कर सकें हम हम उसमें ऑलरेडी इन्वेस्ट कर चुके हैं हम और इन्वेस्ट करेंगे और हम दूसरे वर्टिकल में भी जाएंगे हेल्थ केयर में हमारे हमारे जो कस्टमर हैं जो अमेरिका की लार्जेस्ट हॉस्पिटल हैं उनको और तरीके का लेबर भी चाहिए और तरीके का एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव हेल्प चाहिए हम वो सब एरिया में जाएंगे जो हमारे कस्टमर को चाहिए और हम इंडिया से एफिशिएंटली प्रोवाइड कर सकते हैं क्या कहना चाहते हैं कि हम जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ क्रिएट करने के लिए आए हैं यहाँ पे और हम हम उसे मतलब जितना फास्ट कर सके उतना फास्ट ग्रो करना चाहते हैं यहाँ पर तो एक्विटी एज अ ब्रांड टू वर्क विथ मच नोन प्लेस फॉर फॉर पीपल टू वर्क विथ क्रिएट करना चाहते हैं